What's going on guys, this is John here from on YouTube and welcome back to another video in the Android Studio app development tutorials and it's been two weeks again guys, I'm sorry but I talked about that previously, um, I don't really have that much time on my hands anymore because of that new project I'm working on so yeah guys, bear with me, I'm, I'm really sorry, okay alright, so then another thing I want to talk about really quick and that is that I'm about to reach 4,000 subscribers and that's so incredible, that's so amazing guys, thank you so much for that um, and because of that I'm planning on doing a little bit of a uh, subscriber special so it will either be a room tour, so kind of like a setup video uh, it's gonna be a setup video or a question and answer video so you guys can vote in the comments down below which one you want so update um, update setup video or a Q&A video and if you are voting for that Q&A video so you can basically or AMA ask me anything whatever you can ask me anything you want and if you are voting for that then please leave it in comments one question at least because I cannot do a question and answer video if I don't have any questions alright so yeah thank you guys okay so let's uh, get into this um, in the previous video I I just made a few things which I'm not really proud of so first things first I did not clarify what I was doing here I just said okay go ahead and copy that and that's not what this tutorial series is about because it's not about just copying an app or like copying what I do it's more about learning how to create an app and how to create this particular app and if I don't talk about things like that um, I will that will cause a lot of confusion and another thing which isn't really too important but which I feel is kind of necessary and that would be this integer primary key we have to add an auto increment here so that basically means that the that the ID we have is gonna auto increment with every entry or with every uh, data set we pass through into this database so that's important so just put auto increment here that isn't really necessary but I think it's just more correct and more precise and I would really love to have that a little more precise okay and then to this super thing which I didn't explain so this basically means when we are extending that I think that means that's inheritance so I'm as I said I'm a C sharp developer and in C sharp you would do something like putting a colon instead of this X tens here and I highly think that this is um, inheritance it would explain quite a lot so inheritance this basically means that we are allowed to use a lot of internal methods and all that from that SQLite open helper class but kind of in return we have to use some of the functions which are within this SQLite open helper class and we definitely have to use them we definitely have to implement them like these on upgrade and on create methods these are like essential methods you have to use whenever you inherit from this SQLite open helper class and this SQLite open helper class because it is a class it also has a constructor and that constructor differs from our constructor right here so this context thing and because of that and because um, this SQLite open helper class needs a few variables or parameters to work with we have to basically pass through um, parameters to the constructor which is within this SQLite open helper class so you have to imagine that in this SQLite open helper class there's another constructor so like this one here public SQLite open helper and then these parameters right here so a context then a string for the database name and all that and that is really essential um, so that basically means like you have to put, uh, push through, uh, push through um, just path through these uh, arguments or parameters in order for the uh, SQLite open helper class to work with these things within the class so this database name is of course important for creating the file and this database version again is important for if let's say you wanna completely upgrade your database or want to change the structure completely and to, uh, implement a whole new database design then you want to change this database version so it knows okay we're not actually working with that old database anymore we are now having a completely new database and this is not updating a table this is updating the complete database so that's why we need this version so whenever a new version is passed through it's gonna automatically upgrade yes uh, but not in terms of dropping the table more in terms of dropping the whole database okay so I hope that made that a little bit more clear um, and now we are gonna get in in this video we're gonna uh, implement our CRUD methods or, or 
operations, you call them, and the OUD, or CRUD, I don't know if you <laughs> really say that, but yes, the OUD operations, they basically mean create, read, update, and delete, which are like all the methods a database should have. So we're going to be able to create a user, read all the users which are in there, or one particular user, and then we can update users, so like the address of a certain user and all that, and we can delete users. So that's what we want to do. And in our case, it's contact, of course. Um, so we today we're going to implement these methods. So right now we're going to start with creating a user. So it's going to be public void create user uh, contact, of course. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with users. So contact, and then we have to pass through a contact, which we're going to create in our main activity class. So we're just going to like read from all of the text boxes uh, or edit texts, and then we're going to get all the values and um, yeah, just uh, yeah, push them, uh, push them. Oh my god, pass them, pass them through this uh, create contact class as a new user. All right. Um, so then we're going to need to have a, an SQLite database um, and that is going to equal to get writable database and that's one of the, uh, of the methods which is in this SQLite open helper class which we can use since we inherited from it. So that's pretty cool. So SQLite database, oh we have to specify name, sorry I'm a little bit weird currently. So we're just going to call it DB since that's what we did up here. Alright, so get writable database, so that means that we can actually write to the database which uh, we specified up here, this database name, and yeah. Okay, then we're going to need some values which we're going to basically put into our request or into our query, kind of. So we're going to insert a new user, so we basically need the name, the phone number, etc. Um, to create this new user, since we have five columns I guess one two three four five six six columns okay all right so then we're gonna need to create uh, content values that's basically what you do when you write uh, something so content values just gonna call them values equals to new content values so we're basically creating an instance of this just normal stuff and then we're gonna do something called values dot put so we're going to use this method and then we're going to need a key so the first thing would be of course getting the name um, so in order to get the name we are going to do key name and then we have to assign what we actually want to pass through here so context dot get name it's one of the values in which goes into the name column all right, then another thing is values dot put, and now we basically need the phone. Um, so we're gonna do key phone, and then contact dot get phone. Okay, and that's basically what you're gonna do. So um, I'm just gonna do that, and I'll see you in a second. All right, guys. So now, once we've done all of that, um, oh, I'm sorry, and in this last get Im image UI, we have to actually convert this to a string, so dot to string, that's it. Alright, so now once we've done that, we want to invert it into our table. So you do this uh, by using the insert method of this database, db.insert, and then we have to specify the table, so we can just do uh, table name, or table context it's called, yes, table context, and then this we then we can just put uh, pass through null here and then the values. Damn it! Okay, just like that. Okay, so now we use this uh, method and now we actually inserted it into the database. And now what we have to do to create some resources, we just need to do the database dot close like that. All right. So then we're cre gonna create another method. Um, we're just gonna be reading, so we're gonna need to get a contact now. So we're gonna do public void, or oh, actually this is gonna return a contact, of course. So we're gonna do public contact get contact, and then we want the uh, we want the user or like <laughs> us to pass through the ID of the contact we want to get. So we're gonna do that like what the fuck? Okay, I have no idea where I am right now. Oh, okay. Oh great! Wow, this is so horrible. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, 
So then we're going to need to do the exact same thing as above. So we have to do SQLite database DB equals, but now get readable database since we just want to read from it and not actually write from it. Okay, then we have to create a new cursor. And this cursor is basically just going to go to each database row and select certain things there. So that's um, basically what we need. And the method we are going to use right now, which is called DB or database.query. Um, that is actually going to return a cursor. So yeah. Um, so db dot query, and we're going to take this one right here. This is what we want. Um, so this is basically just going to take all of these arguments. So first it's going to be the table. Then it's going to be all the columns we want. So that would be like the uh, which which we added up here. So the name, the phone, the email address, and the URI, and of course the ID as well. Um, but that is what we actually need. Okay, uh, and then we have some selection arguments and the actual selection we want to do. You, it, it's gonna make sense once you see it. All right. So the first thing would be which we're gonna do now. Um, this is gonna be the uh, database name, so that would be just table, table contacts. Okay, and now we need to pass through a string array. So that would be like all the columns. So we're just gonna do new string array. And then just two curly brackets, and then we're just gonna use okay key ID, key name, and so on. So I'm gonna do that, and we we'll see you uh, in a second. All right. So once we've done that, we're gonna need to add another comma, and now we have to specify the selection, and that's gonna be key ID plus, and then we have to approve. Uh, rotation marks and then equals question mark and this question mark is basically which we're gonna replace in the next uh, in the next in the next uh, in the next uh, parameter so this new string array is the selection argument so it's gonna replace basically the question mark so it's basically gonna say okay where the key ID is what we specified up here so wherever we have that ID uh, it's 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 gonna get that contact for us. That's what it basically says. So now we have to create another new string array, and that's just gonna consist of um, that's just gonna contain the uh, the the ID. Um, so we pass through up here. So we're just gonna do string since this is a an integer, and you to do string dot value of, and then we just need the integer. So the ID up here. Okay, that's it. And now we just have a few arguments which are not really important, so that's basically just going to say, okay, we want to group that and order that and all that, um, which we don't really need. So I'm just going to null all of them like that. Okay. Boom. That's it. So we don't want to group them, we don't want to order them, etc. We, we don't really need to do any of that. Okay. And now, what we need to do, um, we need to uh, make sure that the cursor isn't null. So we're gonna do if cursor that wouldn't be that would be that none of these exist cursor null. So if it's not null, we want to move that to the first occurrence of that. So cursor dot move to first. And since the ID is a unique identifier, it's just gonna have this one uh, record. All right. Um, now we are gonna create a contact. So I'm just gonna call this contact equals to a new contact because with this cursor we can read all of the values which are at the ID we specified. So contact contact equals new contact and then we have to pass through the ID of course which we have in our contact class up here and to do that we have to convert because it can just read strings we have to convert what we read as a string to an integer and to do that by doing integer dot parse integer and then the string. So that would be uh, cursor dot get string zero because that's like this, this is the first column. Cursor dot get string and then the column index which would be zero. So that's the first index which we have up here. So as you can see, the first index was is the key ID. Um, so then we parse the integer. <laughs> what did I do here? I have to ask. What? Why do I have like two brackets here? That doesn't really make sense. Alright, so then a comma. We have that. Um, so that would be the ID. Then we have to push through the name. So it's just going to be the same thing again. Got 
get string, and then we have to kind of increase this all the way through. So, um, key name. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Cursor dot get string, and then it's going to be the first, uh, the one in the index is going to be one. All right, and that's what we're going to do, like for all of the things. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Oh, I know why we need this freaking bracket right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a little bit stupid for me. Okay, cursor dot get string, one, and we have to do this like until we are at five, I guess. All right, so see you in a second. All right, so now we are at the uh, fourth uh, one. So now we have the address, and we need to pass through a URI in the last parameter to create a contact. So to do that, we're going to need to basically parse this string to a URI. So we're just going to do URI, and you have to import that probably. I just did that already. So URI.parse, and then it's going to be the string. So cursor dot get string 5. So that would be the last one. So now we created our contact. We can finally return our contact like that. So we turn contact like that. And now we, w we should be good for reading one contact. Uh, yeah, what's just having this ID up here. Okay, so that's it for the uh, for this tutorial because we're running a bit like short on this time. And by the way, the video I'm going to do, this subscriber special, is not actually going to be a video which replaces the tutorial video or anything, so don't worry about that. This is totally fine. So, yeah, guys. Um, I think we're done. Okay. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you. And in the next tutorial, we're going to create all all the uh, read, update, and delete um, methods. And once we're done with that, um, we're actually going to, like, yeah create our methods for this main activity class where we're just gonna like save all the and insert all the uh, contacts into our database so we're just gonna yeah use our database handler class to create all the contacts and add them to the database yeah guys so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye